Hey, I got a little special ITL for you today. Um, you'll notice something's a little different. I got my friend Daniel Rowland here. Dan, what's up, buddy? What's going on, Dave? Guitar player, guitar player. All the great musicians in the world are guitar players. Frustrated right? guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not frustrated <laughs> anymore. <laughs> nice. um, we're going to be talking a little bit about Lander, but not in a traditional way that you might think we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit non-traditional. Um, let me ask you this. Um, you just recently did a movie that was nominated for some Oscars, and um, you did it with my buddy, not my buddy, my, my wannabe buddy, Adrian Yeah, you'll Berlin. have to meet him next time he's I want to meet him, man. Now, that, that must have been amazing in and of itself. We'll, we'll talk about that in the future, but uh, you actually took the cues for the movie and ran those through Lander. Now, I didn't know what a cue was a few years ago, <laughs> but it's this little short piece of music yeah. that fits in the film right mm -hmm. somewhere. Absolutely. Well, I can't believe I just used the word film because I always use movies. Well, you know, but... it's old school. It's <laughs> no, it, yeah, and it was as we were, you know, working on, over the course of years on the film and, uh, you know, just banging out hundreds of these cues, changes, and, you know, arrangements and mm -hmm. things like that, just being able to run them all through Lander and have it just be a consistent reference for the, for the producer and the director. So, you know, mm -hmm. that, you know, was invaluable, honestly. It saved me a bunch of time. Is there a component of Lander that actually has some intelligence to it? I mean, is it is it making decisions that? Uh, yeah, that's that, what you know. That's why there's whatever seventy five people working on it. You know, in Montreal constantly, it's on the AI side of things. So really wow. making it. Yeah, not it's not preset based. You know, when I first heard about it, I was thinking that maybe that was the case, but no, mm -hmm. man, it's it's, it's but that's smart. Not, that's not like hype or anything. That's no, it, re it, it is reacting to whatever you do. That's why a lot of people use it for mix referencing, where they'll tweak their mix and feed it back into Lander, and Lander's going to react to that specific version of the song. It's not, you know, yeah. Oh, I mean, and then you try to copy Lander? Well, what people will do is, you know, is it's giving them an idea of what the master is going to sound like. Whether they use Lander to master it at the end or send it to an actual engineer, mm -hmm. they can make tweaks to their mix to to adjust for any any issues that aren't being compensated oh, wow. for. Yeah, so it's actually one of the things people use it for most, strangely enough. And then, of course, demos and things like mm -hmm. that. I, I've got some friends, songwriter friends, that they'll get a call, you know, at midnight from their manager, hey, tomorrow, I got you a meeting yeah, tomorrow at 8 in the morning and, and you're scrambling to try and get stuff sound better. And so they, they run it through Lander and it improves demos too. Yeah. Well, do, do people do they, use it a lot oh, for that. I didn't mean to cut you off, but do they still do the SoundCloud thing? I, I, I always thought that was a cool thing. Yeah, man. Like you know, It was last year where they connected with SoundCloud. So, you know, we connected with SoundCloud. So you can just upload directly from Lander. So, you know, uh, yeah, just sign into your SoundCloud account and it'll go straight in. So right. super convenient. Seems like convenient is um, is is a bench where, uh, is like a common thread that goes throughout the company because they don't sacrifice quality for convenience. But um, I was up on it today and and I could just quickly and easily a b the mastered to the non mastered version and that that's to me that was a a neat thing to have happen um, because a lot of times I have to go put it in Pro Tools and I have to, to do a null test to see what's different right, and all yeah, that. Totally. But man, it, it's pretty cool the way the way, um, the, way the, the website is, is constantly growing and, uh, and the process is constantly growing. Um, it feels to me like, and if, you, if, I'm, if, this, if you can't talk about this, but it feels <laughs> to me like it, it's, it's better than it was a few months ago. Yeah, it's, you know, like any technology, there's, you know, a lot of people working on it, a lot of people making it better. We have a whole team of mastering engineers whose sole job is to train that engine to get smarter and smarter and better and better. And it also is learning on its own. So, yeah, it's, I, you know, I started there maybe two years ago, and I would say it's 300 times better now than it was then. And 300? Got, I mean, it's night and day to me, yeah. honestly. And, yeah. And, uh, and I'm one of the engineers there, and who knows in the next six months to a year where it'll, where it'll be. So, it's not me doing any mixing shit, is it? No, we're staying out okay, of that world. Check, so you're just okay. checking for, just now, checking, for just now. Checking. Right. Oh, uh, you want to hear what I did? <laughs> yeah, of course. Why you been telling me about yeah, it? Yeah. Uh, well, I was I was trying to think of some examples, and then um, like what usually happens, I I get a little bizarre, uh, and then I remembered this song where I actually used it a long time ago, but I re I updated what I did today. Um, I took all my drums and put them through an aux. That's what I always do. I use several auxes for um, drums and vocals, uh, music, uh, bass, a couple of other things. And um, so uh, what I originally did was uh, printed the drum aux. And let me play the song first. This is uh, T-Pain uh, guesting on my great friend uh, Mike Rebel, who's a gifted, gifted musician and rapper. So check this out. Here's the original, a little piece. Oh, stealing a job, starting to make me feel like I'm on one. Just pay me a god, pay me a god, pay me a god, pay me a god. You've been too busy trying to be wavy. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna cut it right there because uh, I want you guys to check out the record when it comes out. I did I did the whole album, so um, um, I'm pretty proud of it when you hear it. I think you're gonna like it. So so that's that's the finished product. Now what I did was um, I I printed my drums, and so here's where I, here's where I printed the original drums, and so I'll play you just that. Okay, now here's what Lander did to just the drums. All I, all I mastered was the drums. Quite a bit of difference. Uh, and actually, probably sounds a little bit more dynamic than what I fed them. That, that's kind of cool. Let me do some quick ABs for you. Okay, now, in the song, I actually used the entire drum track through Lander, but I'm going to show you something. Um, you don't have to do that necessarily all the time. Um, what I did was, um, I... <clears throat> um, I only decided to use the top end but I didn't want to, to change the bottom end too much. So, um, from my original, so check this out. I, I used a, a tilt EQ, and so I'm gonna play just the lander. Okay, so, so now I'm, I'm going to add that back in to my original. And, and you know what's bizarre? I didn't have to do much to, 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 uh, to make sure it was in phase. It came back in phase. That's, yeah. that's pretty it, impressive right like there. Designed to do it. Yeah. I was expecting like you know, a good two or three minutes getting it lined up. <laughs> um, okay, let's, let's do this. Okay, I've got Lander turned off. Here's my original. Um, so now let's check this out. Watch, watch me. I'm going to start adding some of the lander back. That's the top one. And then here's my original. And remember, we, we've got this, uh, we've got this tilt EQ thing going on. So here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to um, take some of this high end that we generated right here. I don't need a lot of low end. I'm pretty happy with that. And we're, we're crossing over at about 500. Let's try a little higher. 600. Um, and um, I'm a little concerned about level, so I'm going to drop this down a little bit. So check this out. Watch right here. I'm going to start adding it back. And I can do that all day long. That's it's cool, pretty right? cool. So you don't have to use it um, just by itself, which is pretty spectacular in the mix. Uh, you can use it in parallel to what you already have. Now, I did this with drums, but you could think of what you could do with vocals. Think of what you could do with, 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 um, with music tracks. It, 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 it's unlimited, and, and, and you, could, you, could, you could take this and... and um, Man, do all kinds of stuff like, like, like instead of instead of 
uh, instead of that, you could you could do something like um, the UAD, the, the the this one. So so what if you um, so what if you did this? Whatever you want to do, um, you could gate it and just let the transients come through and then mix just the transients back in with the original. There's all kinds of things you could do once you get something that's a little more dynamic and, a, and, a, and, and, and has a, a, a lot of the things you want. You don't have to take the whole thing. You can take the parts of it that you need and, and use your own creative decisions to do that. It seems a little silly, but I'm telling you, think about it, try it, and, I, and you'll become addicted to this kind of stuff. And uh, Lander is a big part of what we like about it, okay? Next time.